Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort in Marina, Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I are going to do one cast today. It is Tuesday, the 4th of July. Uh, they're running a little less than four units. They, it's dropped just about a foot, and they're supposed to kick it back down to uh, two units pretty quick, but they've been on the high side here lately as far as their schedule. A little behind. Um, so I don't expect them to drop it. Um, oh, we'll see. Uh, I am just below lookout, just below, well, Andy's house is right there. And uh, we're going to be drifting scuds down through the trophy area. I've got a number seven split shot, two pound line, and a number 14. Uh, this is kind of a tan scud. It's actually made of carpet um, fibers. Uh, rayon, I think is what it's called. And we're just going to drift. I think I'm going to point the boat out this direction. Hey, fishing on the dock has been really good. But I just talked to uh, Brett Rader and talked to some other guides and since. It's been a little tough the last few mornings. They've been doing better with the water running um, in the afternoon and evening since they compared to mornings. Shooting fireworks off the the lookout looks like, and Jackson's on the floor shaking. He does not like fireworks. So you're probably not going to see much of him. <clears throat> I actually didn't think they'd be shooting fireworks during the day, so I probably would have left him at home. But you take him out hunting, and you get a shotgun out, shoot a shotgun, he is all about it. Fireworks he does not like. I even tried to trick him earlier when there were some fireworks. I told him there's a bird. Where's the bird? It didn't work. He didn't buy it. We've got the biting biting flies out today. Ah, uh, they hurt. I mean, they've been catching fish off the dock, power bait, night crawlers, salmon eggs. It's really been good. I'm just barely taking the bottom which is exactly what I want. I lost track of the bottom, so it's probably going to reel. Oh, there's, there's a bump. <clears throat> I'll reel in a minute just to check, make sure I don't have any moss on my fly. We then turn the water on about 3 o'clock. Two, between two and three o'clock. 
day well. Might have been a first. Huh. It's not the hook that hard. Two pound line can be a pain sometimes. That might have been a first, but we'll never know. We'll get it straight here in a second. Maybe. It's got to go through here. No, not through there. Wow. This should be really simple. There you go. <laughs> well, there we go. I really have too much weight on here, I think. I'm going to have to take some off. Okay. I think I'm pinching the line a little bit too tight. Pinching the line, pinching the the weight, the split shot on that line and cutting the line and that's where it's breaking. Because I just did not set the hook that hard. Tell you, I just made the drift from Andy's all the way down past the narrows and I didn't get a bite, I don't think. So we are gonna go up to the dam and we are gonna throw a jig. They haven't dropped the water at all since I started. Still running maybe a little less than four. But we just can't. I'm not gonna. That that's just tough to drift up for 20 minutes and not get a bite. So we're going to go up and try it. Try something else. I was sculping and a sculping and ginger 16th ounce on. I'm going to throw the sculping and ginger first. No fireworks up here. Jackson. The water has dropped a lot more up here. I stopped and talked to Blake and he said it was slow for him, although he has caught several.
And he reminded me that the water was supposed to start dropping at seven and not six, which I was incorrect, and it's 7.07. I'm gonna kinda work, not the bank, but I'm gonna work this side. One where I get cast. That was a much better cast. Like I said, he was going to come up here and throw jigs here in a little bit. Sculpin and Sculpin Ginger and Sculpin of Peach have been the best colors in black, according to some of the guides. That sun is pretty tough. The water's really slowed down. Jig fishing might, oop. I sure have lost a lot of fish lately. Just can't get them to the boat. It's small.
pretty quiet up there this evening. You can see up there it's dropped about three feet. They're supposed to drop it to two units. It's seven. One unit at eight and then off at nine. I'm a little snake bit today. I'm tempted to go ahead and put a 32nd ounce on, especially going over the shallow water. It's flat. Let's do that. I'll go ahead and replace this jig and keep the scoping on the other. And I'm going to put a black. 30 second on. Nothing worse, get a piece of monofilament stuck in the roof of your mouth. Thank you. 
fish have really not come up and started midging yet. Now I'm starting to get into real deep water. There. Two fish just jumped. My line went slack and I know it wasn't on the bottom. Boy, oh boy. I don't think I've gotten a bite so far. Boy, I'm going to throw my sculpin jig. It's my last effort. Water is all but, well, it's moving out there behind me, but I'm kind of in an area where the water pretty much stops, where the water drops like it. There's not much current here at all over on this side. This is just a straight 16th ounce sculpin jig. Got a pontoon coming up here. I hope he watches the lake level. He'd be spending the night up here. Ooh, he's going the wrong way. Hope he doesn't hit that stump.
much as I'd love to stay up here and keep fishing, I've got a couple more casts and I'm gonna go in. I don't wanna stay out real late tonight. I love these conditions. Except I don't like the fact the fish aren't biting at all. Not biting my jig. I do have a white jig on a on a rod. But I'm not gonna mess with it. My line jumped. Okay, I did say two more casts. That I give her voices. Well, it was a nice evening. It's nice to be out, but fishing, that's good. Fishing's good. Catching's not good. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Happy Fourth of July.